Happy August, guys. August 1st. List 10 things that make you very happy. Now I'm going to be doing these, but I'd also like people to join in. So, yes, I'm answering these, but you can answer them too. At least most of them, I believe. Sharing. So that we're... Whoever watches the video interacts with the video. So 10 things that make me very happy is what this video is going to be about. But I would also love to know what are 10 things that make each of you very happy. Number one, obviously family. Love my family. I can't, I have to lump them all together because I can't just list 10. It's impossible. I have such a big family and I love it and I love every single one of them. So that's my first thing. It makes me very happy. Number two, books. I believe I've already shown you. That's just our children's books, but books make me very happy. I am an avid reader. Now, along with the demotivation that I have, the kind of hole I've been in for the past little while, I haven't been reading all that much, but most of the time I am at least in the middle of one book, if not two. That is typically an ebook or an audiobook or both. I get to escape my little world because as much as I love my family, everybody needs some sort of escape, some sort of something to do on your own. Number three, another generic one where I'm not digging very deep is music because most people when asked this question are going to say music. Everybody listens to it and enjoys their own little genre. I pretty much like almost any genre you can throw at me. Almost. Number four. Okay, let's dig a little deeper. I love autumn and Halloween. And I love this season. Well, not this season, but fall, autumn, and holiday Halloween so much that people would probably assume my favorite color is orange because I just, I can't get enough. We have this little plaque still up in our doorway that says, welcome to our web. It's technically a Halloween decoration, but we leave it up all year round. Absolutely my favorite. I love the colors and the weather. I feel like it's so much easier to be outside than it is if it's winter or summer, especially with a baby. It's gonna be really nice this year. Number five. Uh, this shouldn't be on my list because of what my video from earlier today said. I'm supposed to be trying to lose weight, but this is a list about things that make me happy. And so on that list has to be chips and dip. I have never really been the person who wants to sit down and eat chocolate. It's not my thing. I like chocolate, but my go-to has always been chips and dip. And you could pretty much ask anybody in my family, but I can eat it so much. Not a good thing, but it does make me happy. <laughs> So number six, 
Christmas morning. Regardless of the fact that Halloween is my favorite holiday and pretty sure it will forever be my favorite holiday, there is just something special about Christmas morning once you've had a child. This year I get to experience that times two with both of my kids, but for the past, this will be Kaylee's sixth Christmas, and the first one's not all that big because she was only a couple months old, but I have just loved seeing the Christmas lights and presents and decorations and living it through her. There's just something different about it once you're watching Christmas through their eyes. So that, that has to be on the list as well. All right, number seven. This one is, again, not as deep, most people will say it, but vacation. Being able to take a little bit of time away, away from the normal everyday grind that you have to deal with and just have a little bit of extra fun, which is funny because yes, it's on my list because it makes me happy, but vacation can also very much stress me out because I do not like to spend money and vacation costs money, but it is on my list. I do enjoy it a lot. Number eight. I know I'm putting another food on my list, but at least this time it's better. I'm going with fruit. Pretty much any kind. I love it. A nice big bowl of fruit salad with a whole bunch of different fruits in it. Count me in. Number nine. When I was sitting down thinking about what I wanted on my list, I knew that I wanted some sort of dancing involved. But I'm not the type of person that just kind of stands up and dances. I don't know why. I'll dance with my daughter when she asks me to, but I don't typically just get up and dance. But I do love it. So I was thinking, how could I include dance on my list, even though it's not something I do very much? And so it made me think of weddings. I am a sucker for weddings absolutely everything about them. Just the whole environment. I just think the whole thing is a lot of fun. If I could, I would go to a wedding probably every other week. They just don't happen that often. <laughs> and number 10. I think on there, on my list, has to be Something to do with these. I have so much, so much stationery. I love all things stationery and just the paper, the pens, the notepads, note cards. I mean, these are beautiful. These so many bright colors and the sticky notes, pretty much office supplies and school supplies have to be on my list. I go to a store and I have to stop and look at the notebooks. No matter how many I have at home, I need to stop and look. I have so many index cards. I have so many notebooks and packs of paper 
My husband gets these from his work and every time I run out, he brings me a new one. And they run out fast because I like to write everything. When I think of ideas for videos, they get written down. In order to remember my list, it got written down. I have a different note for every day of August because I love stationery. So that's my list. I would love it if you guys would join me. Anyone, everyone can join me and like, comment, subscribe. It's a fun.